Huh? Are you going somewhere, Gemma? I'm going to Sumeragi Tomb to pay my respects. I have a friend buried there. I'm sorry for going at a time like this. I plan to come back as soon as possible. Sumeragi Tomb? Would you mind if I tagged along? I've never been out with you before, and I like going there. I don't mind. Shall we go then? Gemma hasn't come back yet. I guess paying your respects isn't something you rush. Maybe I'll go get my fortune told while I'm waiting. Oh, that Pocky collaboration should still be going on. Whoa! Sorry to keep you waiting. What's the matter? Is that a fortune? The fortune came with a Baki keychain I didn't have yet! You really do love this Baki. I mean, look how cute he is! Such a round and adorable face. Are those popular? Sorry, I just can't relate to young people. Yeah, really popular. They're often featured in magazines. They're so popular, they have a collaboration with Sumeragi Tomb. Do you want to give it a try? No, I'll pass. We've been here long enough. I had a lot to share since I hadn't been here in a while. You said you were here to see a friend. Can I ask who's grave? Some friends of mine. My parents, too. My family originally had a separate grave, but we moved them to this communal tomb since we're dismantling our own. Dismantling? I don't have any siblings or children. Since the Garrison family will end with me, there's no more need for individual graves. But you could have children in the future. I heard there are a lot of people who get married after retiring from the OSF. I'm sure a lot of people do, but I don't know anything beyond fighting. Besides, I could die in battle before I get to retire, just like my friends buried here. You haven't retired yet, but you're already thinking about your life ending? My actual age is already past 50. I think it's normal for OSF members my age to be thinking about their closing chapters. Really? I didn't think 50 plus was an age you'd be thinking about this kind of stuff yet. Besides, you could still fall in love. Nobody knows what could happen in the future. Fall in love? I don't think so. Although, I guess I can't say it's completely impossible. Yeah, there's still a possibility. You never know what might happen if you try new things. You might realize you shouldn't be wasting your time acting all old. Do I act old? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I am actually old, after all. That's what I'm talking about. That right there. It's not good. I mean, you should just be more positive about this. We're children of the state. Try incorporating your inner child. Inner child? Like how? You better not suggest kick the can or spinning tops. No, I'm not talking about what they did in ancient times. I mean more like trying out the latest trends. Latest trends? No, I'm too... Actually, this magazine that had a feature on Baki made a list of trendy new restaurants and foods. I'm kind of interested, so do you want to go with me sometime? To be honest, I'm not all too interested. But I can see how you're doing this for me. I guess I could try it once. Great! I'll look into it then. Thanks, Gemma. Oh, I should be the one thanking you. Gemma, want to go into town with me if you're free? Is something going on? We talked about checking out trends, remember? I looked up a lot of interesting places. Oh, that. Okay, I did promise you after all. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure you'll find something you like. I hope so. <sighs> Are you all right? Give me a little time to gather my thoughts. That was a lot to take in. I dragged him all over the place to show him the latest trends. But maybe I went a little overboard. Let's see. We've checked out all the new trendy spots. Was there one that caught your interest? What was that last one? I got mobbed by a herd of giant cats inside a room. Ah, the VR Cat Cafe. That was pretty crazy. It's apparently very popular with girls for their soothing effects. That was supposed to be soothing? Do youngsters these days find being buried in giant cats soothing? 
It's more like a nightmare. And before that one, we were trapped inside a tiny room and forced to do confusing puzzles. Right, the escape room. I thought that was pretty fun solving the riddles with Vision. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, at least. Which means you didn't. Sorry, I should have researched better. No, I'm sorry to be complaining so much. It's not your fault. I just don't know how to enjoy them. I had no idea that amusement had changed so much. This is much different from the era I'm familiar with. To be honest, I can't keep up. I see. I'm sorry. Maybe we can grab something to eat to salvage the day. All right, but what to eat? I don't really eat here that often. They have a lot of different kinds of dishes here. What do you usually like to eat? Hmm. I'm not really very particular about my food. I guess I like gyoza if I had to choose. Gyoza? Oh, they have some interesting looking gyoza here. A new and popular dish the chef recommends. That's so. I don't really have a good feeling about it, but we came here to check out what's trending among the young people after all. You don't need to force yourself. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Let's do what we came here to do. Thank you for waiting. Here's our restaurant's special variety gyoza platter. Please use any combination of these ten sauces. Enjoy! What, what is this? Green, yellow, red, black? Are these supposed to be gyoza? <laughs> Seems like these are the restaurant's original gyoza. Apparently, they all have different fillings. Their shapes are just as strange as their colors. I see a round one, a square one, and this one has spikes. Is this what gyozas have come to in this day and age? I can't believe how much the food I once knew has changed. Hmm? Well, they look weird, but they actually taste really good. Why don't you try one? Eat this? I'm not thrilled about it. But I can't stand here and waste food. All right. Hmm. You're right. This doesn't taste bad. It's not what I'm familiar with, but it's interesting. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, they look weird, but you can't know until you eat them. Maybe I was too wary because they seem strange. They're pretty delicious. If you can appreciate these, that means you learned how to enjoy one of the latest food trends. Hmm. Just because these gyozas happen to taste good doesn't mean I've learned to adapt to this age. I think your ability to appreciate them is important. That you were able to get past the way they look. You may have a point. At the end of the day, people still enjoy the same types of things. Even if those things may have changed. Yeah, exactly. I may have failed choosing good spots for you today, but I had fun checking them out together. I wasn't able to enjoy the newest trends, but I did have fun walking around the city. I felt behind the times every time I experienced something new. Time may pass, but our true nature remains constant. Just that our perspectives may have changed. Mmm. That hit the spot. Thank you for the meal. You're finished eating already? You must have really liked those. This might be my new favorite food. I guess trying new things isn't so bad. Well, let's do this again sometime. That's fine with me, but please, no more of that cat cafe. I don't dislike cats, but it's unsettling when they're that large. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay, we won't go there again. It seems part of it was a little too much for him, but I'm glad he ended up enjoying himself overall. Hey, Gamma, are you free right now? Do you want to go somewhere with me again? <sighs> Gamma? Hmm? Sorry, I was just thinking. Is something the matter? I'm here if you need to talk. Yeah, maybe I should talk to someone. One of my friends who retired from the OSF has gone missing. Are there any leads? I first learned about it when I got a message from his younger brother. We hadn't talked in a while. He asked me if I might have any ideas, but I couldn't give him any. I was just wondering what to do now. I can see why you're worried. Is there anything I can do? No, I can't trouble you with this. It's a personal problem. 
But I want to help. Why don't you just tell me what you can? It couldn't hurt. Hmm. Thank you. I'll take you up on that. The friend who went missing was an old classmate, and then we worked together in the same platoon when he was still in the OSF. But as the years went by, the anti-aging medication's effects weakened, and his body began to age. It's something all children of the state have to face eventually, but he reached his limit sooner than me. His powers waned as he aged, and fighting became too difficult. He retired this past spring. I see. I'm glad he managed to retire safely and not get hurt or die. Yeah, but children of the state face a tough situation after retirement. The body ages normally after they stop taking the medication, but the abuse their brains sustained over so long a time is significant. Many retired soldiers deal with various issues, stemming from their body's changes exacerbating their brain's fatigue. It's that tough for them? Can't they treat that with medication? I hear there are many who receive treatment, but it's not easily cured. If it becomes prolonged, it also affects the patient psychologically. Do you think your friend wasn't feeling well after retiring? Yeah, he was tired, physically and mentally. I tried my best to stay in touch after he left, but after a while he just kept asking me about the OSF and my missions. It seemed like he wanted to come back. He missed his old job after having trouble adjusting to retirement. I mean, he was with the OSF for decades after all. It's tough to instantly change your life. He never wanted to retire to begin with. Those who can no longer fight will never be able to return to the OSF. <sighs> I decided to distance myself from him, so he can finally move on from the military and build a new life for himself. I didn't reply to his messages or meet up with him. Looking back now, I was probably too harsh. His brother said it was cold of me to cut off all contact like that. <laughs> I can't blame his brother for saying that. It might be my fault he disappeared. Maybe I pushed him away when he needed me the most. You did it for your friend's sake. You can't blame yourself for that. For now, you should do what you can. Have you tried calling your friend? No, I haven't reached out to him yet. Then try messaging him. Even if you don't know where he is, it should reach him if he's safe. Maybe he's just waiting for you to contact him. You're right. Waiting here won't get me anywhere. I'll take your advice and do whatever I can. <sighs> There's no reply. He might need time to notice the message. Let's wait a little longer to see if it reaches him. Or it reached him, but he's not planning to reply. <sighs> There's no way for us to know. Back when we were in the OSF together, we could easily brain talk with each other and had GPS to know our location. Yeah, that's not available since he retired. He has to go through the trouble of accessing a terminal. I can't really relate how inconvenient things are after you retire. But he must have been going through a lot. Yeah. Why don't you keep messaging him and wait to see what happens for now? I'll see if there's anything else we could do. I'm glad for your help. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Okay. Poor Gemma. I never really thought about what people do after they retire. Is there anything more I can do? I know. The OSF database could have information on Gemma's friend. <sighs> the data's locked. I guess that's not a surprise. Wataru, you got a sec? Yo, what's up? There's an OSF matter I want you to look into whenever you're free. OSF. So, information that can't be found through official channels. Okay, send me the info. I'll look into it. Thanks, Wataru. I hope we find a lead on Gemma's friend. Gemma, got a minute? What is it? Did something happen? I had Wataru go through the list of retired soldiers after we talked about your friend. I told him he was missing since I thought that was important. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Nobody's trying to hide that. So, did you find out anything? I haven't looked yet. I thought you might be able to notice something if we looked at it together. I'm sending the data to you now. This lists the present status of retired OSF members. I told him to only look at members who retired this past spring, so I'm pretty sure your friend is on here. Oh, I found him. Masaki Fujikawa. 
There's even details on his living situation. Why is the OSF tracking retired members so thoroughly? Wait. What? What's wrong? This is ridiculous. Look here. Let's see. Shortly after entering the OSF hospital, Masaki Fujikawa died? No. I don't buy it. If he died in the hospital, his family would have been notified. Something doesn't add up. You're right. There are too many here that are listed as dying in the hospital, and all of them in such short periods. No matter how supposedly damaged these retired soldiers are, they can't all need hospitalization that badly. Hey guys, so I dug a little deeper on that retirement list you're talking about. Seems pretty clear to me these are doctored. Publicly, they all died in the hospital. However, there's no record of their bodies being moved. There's a chance they're still alive in there. Really? I can't say for sure, but they went through the trouble of falsifying these records. Which means there's a high chance the hospital is involved in something unsavory. Are they being used in human experiments? Many retired soldiers don't have families. It's a horrible thing to say, but nobody's asking questions if they turn up missing. I'd like to say it's only a guess, but going by the OSF hospital's previous track record? Then we should get on this now. If they're being used in human experiments, we need to save them right away. Data. Huh. The data lists them being admitted to the new OSF hospital building. But maybe they were moved to the old building for experimentation. That's possible, but there's actually something else suspicious I found. I was tracking the vehicles going to and from the OSF hospital to see what they're up to. And I found a strange vehicle that would head from the hospital to Ceyron once in a while. There's actually one out now. I can't imagine they'd be making deals with Ceyron right now. What are they doing? I don't know, but they could be transferring the patients to some facility we're not aware of. We should start by tracking down that vehicle, since that's our only lead. They need to cross the river if they're heading to Seiron. We should be able to find it if we head to Mizuhagawa. I'll see if I can find more info on it. Thank you for helping me find Masaki. Let's find him soon. <laughs> I've got good news, you two. I managed to access the details of that vehicle leaving Suo through its ID number. I was right. The cargo manifest listed names of hospital patients. Your friend Masaki was on it. Then he's on that vehicle. Yeah, there's definitely a chance of that. It's stopped right now. I'll send you its location. You need to get over there ASAP. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Watch out for electric field. You won't be able to move if you're electrified. Let's go. That's the vehicle Wataru was talking about. What is it doing stopped there? They're unloading something. They look like garbage bags. I don't see any patients. 
So it was a garbage truck? Does that mean Wataru's information was wrong? No. They'd be taking trash to the garbage facility. So what are they? Let's check their contents after they leave. I'm getting a bad feeling. Yeah. It's targeting that bag. But why? It's what I feared. No, stay away from that. Gemma! Damn it. I guess we're doing this. when it's covered in oil. Let me borrow this. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. I need you, Gemma. The shell is broken. Use everything you have. I jumped to the wrong conclusion. I misidentified the cargo. I never thought they'd be carrying human brains in the waste disposal vehicle. Then those bags are... Damn it. It was too late. Masaki's already... Not just him. They treated all these people like they were trash. They fought for decades, risking their lives to fight for humanity. None of them deserve to end like this. <sighs> I'm sorry. I lost my cool for a moment. Anybody would if they found out their friend was treated this way. I'd like to bury the ones who didn't get eaten by the other. Do you mind waiting here? I'll help. Let's give them a proper burial. Thank you. You too, Wataru. I appreciate your help. I'll have to tell Masaki's younger brother later. I don't mean to overstep, but... Would it be okay if I went with you? I'd appreciate that. You must be Gemma. Yes. There's something I need to tell you about Masaki. I'm sorry, but your brother has died. What? Are you certain? Yes. I can't share the details with you as it's classified. 
but he passed away in the hospital and was buried in a secret location. Oh, I'm sad to hear that. I'm sorry. If I'd only found him sooner. It's okay. Please allow me to apologize as well for calling you cold. Huh? I actually received a message from my brother after I spoke to you, saying he had to be taken into the hospital. He told me not to worry about him and that he might not be able to contact me for a while. He also shared his true feelings. Let me send you his message. He... My brother was thankful to you for your tough love, for trying to help him move on from the OSF. After everything we've been through together, I don't have to talk to him to know what he's thinking. Gimma was always there for me, awkward and earnest. Masaki. It was my misunderstanding. My brother's memories of you are always there helping him. My brother wrote that he was ready to build a new life, free from the past, once he's discharged from the hospital. Unfortunately, that never happened. But he never would have had that hope if it wasn't for you. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Goodbye. <sighs> Gemma, you knew what I was trying to do. Your brains weren't connected. But your hearts were. Masaki. Is he crying? <laughs> Sorry. We should go back to the hideout. Okay. Do you have a second, Yuito? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. Okay. Where are we going? A cemetery near Sumeragi Tomb. I'm going to go pay respects to my friend Masaki. There wasn't a body we could bury, but his brother added his name to the family grave. So he has a proper grave. Yeah, let's go. Are you sure you don't need more time? No, this was enough. He already knew everything I wanted to tell him. I was thinking about what went down at Mizuhagawa. There were so many people discarded that way. Yeah. We only found one truck's worth, but I'm sure there were many more before it. They say that many retired soldiers die quickly or go missing. I thought it was just the toll of serving in the OSF. But it could be all the government's doing, trying to secure the brains they need. I wouldn't be surprised if the government did that. It's chilling to think about. They use what's useful and discard what isn't. People are just tools to this nation. But we aren't tools. We have a chance for another life when we can't fight anymore. I won't forgive them for taking away that possibility and discarding them like trash. I feel the same. That's the way they treated my best friend. You mean Nagi? Yeah. He and Masaki both had so much life ahead of them. We need to end these types of things from happening in our lifetime. I thought that my role in the OSF was ending. But it looks like there's this giant task still left. I want to right this nation's wrongs and protect the future, as someone who is still remaining. You're not planning on doing that all by yourself, are you? I'd like to help too. Thanks. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Well, shall we head back to the hideout? Wait, there's somewhere I want to stop by. Okay, where are we going? I wanted to go to this restaurant, but I couldn't bring myself to go in alone. I'd be grateful if you came with me. Surprise original Gyoza Suzaku. That's an impressive sounding place. I became more interested in food since our last excursion. I started looking up trendy new restaurants on food websites when I have time. So, you have a new hobby. Is it nearby? Yeah. I realized when I looked at the website that Masaki and I used to go there together all the time. The restaurant's name and atmosphere completely changed after the previous owner died, so I hadn't visited since. But there's no point in only looking at the past. I have to try the new gyoza for myself. Their popular dishes are the Ogre Hell Gyoza and Final Dragon Gyoza? Hard to imagine those are names for food. It doesn't matter what their names are, what matters is how they taste. It's good to be adventurous. <laughs> You're right. Although, that's not something you would have said just a short while ago. Perhaps. I was too stubborn. I need to be less afraid of trying new things. 
I'll honor Masaki's memory by enjoying what life I have left. You look at peace. I think you've gotten younger. Don't be ridiculous. But a weight has been taken off my shoulders. It's been a while since I've felt this way. All right. Let's try these surprise gyoza then. Eat as much as you like. It's my treat. Maybe we can take some back to the hideout for everyone. That's a good idea. I just hope they taste as strange as their names. No kidding. You came. Sorry to call on you all of a sudden. I don't mind. First, let me apologize to you. Naomi was turned into an other because I wasn't strong enough to stop it from happening. I'm really sorry for the pain I've caused you. I don't blame you for that. Anyway, what did my sister give you? This. It's her handwriting. Why do you have a handwritten letter from my sister? She never told me you two were close. I don't think we were. We didn't fight together for too long, and we didn't exchange many words with each other either. However, Naomi didn't let that stop her from reaching out to me. Just read the letter. These are... recipes. I have a habit of taking on too much work, so I'd often eat very poorly. I thought I hid how tired I was pretty well. But one day, Naomi called me over and handed me this. She said she put together some simple and nutritious recipes, so I could take better care of myself when I was busy. She could have just messaged me, but she went through the trouble of writing it out. Can you believe that? That's just like her. I was grateful, but it also made me think. How could I neglect my own health to the point where even a rookie was worried? I'm sure Naomi was busy herself, having just joined the OSF. She was always like that. She'd always prioritize others over herself. So did the recipes help? Yes. They were easy, tasty, and nutritious. These recipes helped me take better care of myself. I didn't have much experience cooking, but she listed all the steps I needed very carefully. As I read her notes while I cooked, I began to notice how caring each word felt. My sister was the best. But why are you giving this to me if it's helped you? It's something she made for you. Handwritten letters are quite precious in this day and age. I thought it would be better if her sister had it. I memorized the recipes already. Besides, nobody has more heard about Naomi than you. The person who needs it the most should have it. All right, I'll hold on to it then. I feel better now that I've given it to you. What do you mean? Are you saying you couldn't wait to get rid of my sister's letter? No. I didn't mean it like that. It's just that I'm reminded of what happened to Naomi every time I look at it. I've been with the OSF for a long time. I thought I was used to losing friends. But I still can't accept what happened to her. Whenever I remember, it makes me painfully aware of my own powerlessness. I feel like someone's squeezing my heart. <sighs> If only I'd looked after the platoon better. There's a chance I could have prevented what happened to her. I'm sorry for unloading on you like this. I know that nobody is more hurt about her than you are. It's fine. It's not like anything you tell me will make it worse. I see. But as long as you continue fighting, you'll eventually encounter something you won't be able to carry on your own. As someone who's been in the OSF for many years, maybe I can help. Just reach out whenever you need me. I don't think anything like that will happen, but I will on the off chance it does. Well, if we're done here, I'm going back. All right. He seemed like he really blamed himself for Naomi. I hate to see him waste my sister's kind gesture. Kasane? 
Gemma, did you read my message? I came to talk to you. It seems like you still feel responsible for what happened to Naomi. It isn't your fault she turned into another. There's no point in you blaming yourself. You came all this way just to say that? Well, you felt guilty enough to come all the way here. <sighs> You're right. It's probably presumptuous of me to think it was all my fault. Still, I can't forget what happened to her. It's sad to think this is how I behave after the decades I've fought. I don't think it's sad, just surprising. I thought your experience would allow you to cope better than this. That's what I thought. You don't have time to falter when a friend dies in battle. Our role as members of the OSF is to bottle up our feelings no matter what happens, and fight until the last other is killed. But you haven't been able to control your emotions. Do you have any idea why? I must be at my limit. I've lost too many friends. Friends of many years and rookies like Naomi. While everyone else lost their lives, I'm left standing here, my retirement drawing closer. You make it sound like it's bad that you're alive. I feel guilty. The young people with promising futures die, while someone like me with not many years left is allowed to live. That's why I was so committed to protecting the young members. I know that you wanted to protect Naomi. However, there's no point in regretting the past that way. You're better off focusing on what needs to be done right here and now. I know that. Gamma, behind you! <laughs> Good reaction. The enemy was just weak. I can still fight for now. What do you mean, for now? I'm old. I'll have to retire soon. When I retire, they'll stop administering the anti-aging drug. My body will begin to grow old, and my power will gradually diminish. As someone who's had to rely on my power for decades to survive in battle, I'm a little worried about its strength diminishing. I do remember reading something about that. It might be the distant future for you, and it's just around the corner for me. Many retired soldiers have a hard time adjusting to civilian life after being in the OSF for so long. There are those who have nowhere else to go after society throws them out. No family or friends to rely on. Are you saying you'll be one of them? Yeah, I spent most of my life in the OSF. I can't do much other than fight. How is someone like that supposed to live outside the military? I'm ashamed to say that I'm afraid of that day coming. If I have to live on carrying these feelings for my fallen comrades, then I think I'd rather die in battle. I'm sorry. That was a stupid thing to say. I don't understand. If you're serious about wanting to die, then I misjudged you. You say that you're the only one left alive, but it's not like you've survived this long on your own. Even my sister was worried about your health. And you just roll over and die? That's so selfish. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <sighs> what is he thinking? Naomi was so concerned about him. It's not like I haven't thought about giving up my own life if it could help save her. But that would only make her sad. I thought he would have figured that out. Gemma. I'm sorry to bother you about this, Kasane. It's fine. I wanted to talk to you too, to apologize. Why? I'm the one who should say sorry. You don't have any reason to apologize to me. I just dumped all my feelings on you without any regard for yours. If I'm being honest, I still don't think I completely understand how you feel right now. However, after everything I've experienced lately, I think I can imagine it a little. Did something happen? You really felt like you wanted to die? Not me, Naomi. She said that she didn't want to live anymore. She didn't want to live as an other, her sanity being maintained with medicine made of human brains. She said that? I didn't understand her at the time. I wanted her to live no matter what it meant, but now I partly understand where she's coming from. That feeling that makes you want to run away from life when things are so incredibly hard and painful. 
If that's what you were feeling, then I realized I didn't have any right to complain to you. Thank you for understanding. Let me just say it again. I shouldn't have unloaded my feelings of self-pity on you. I'm old enough to know better. So I brought you something as a token of apology. Is that a packed lunch? Yeah, they're all from the recipes Naomi gave me. I don't know if you're hungry or not, but maybe you'd be willing to give them a taste. Thank you. I wanted to taste what her recipes were like. This is stir-fried mackerel and green peppers. This is vegetable namol, and that's shredded meat. Wow, you really went all out. I'm still learning, so I've burnt some of them. It may not look appetizing, but it should still be edible. I'll take this then. Not bad. It does remind me of my sister's cooking a little. Really? Yes. It doesn't even come close to the real thing, though. I see. But getting you to say that it reminds you of it is still an accomplishment. It's fairly good and a little familiar. It must have taken you a while to make all of this. It wasn't a big deal. Cooking helps calm me. It's perfect for self-reflection. You think so? Yes, although I used to think it was a waste of time. I thought about what you said while I cooked. Which part? I think I said a lot the last time we talked. About how I wanted to roll over and die, and how that was selfish. It really hit me hard, thinking how much Naomi wants to live in her original body, and about how much all my friends who died in battle would have wanted to live. It made me realize that wasting whatever life I have left was disrespecting their memory. Part of me thinks you're taking it a little too seriously, but I'm glad I got through to you. I might be too serious, but I plan to live the rest of my life to its fullest. How? First thing is to get back to eating healthy with Naomi's recipes. I also want to reevaluate the way I spend my weekends. Maybe find a new hobby besides cooking. Sounds like a good idea. And I'm sure your cooking will get better with practice. Then I guess I'll keep at it. Would you mind tasting more of my food sometime? Of course. Thanks. I still have trouble figuring out what's good or bad since I've never been concerned about how my cooking tasted before. You seem like you're enjoying it. I am, although it stresses me out while I'm doing it. Well, maybe I enjoy that part too. He looks so alive. Maybe he started to feel more positive about his life. Kusane, can we talk? I have a favor to ask. What is it? I know this is cruel of me to ask, but could you tell me where Naomi died? <sighs> I heard about what happened to her, and I wanted to visit the last place she stood before she died. Of course, you don't have to tell me if it's too painful for you. It's Mizu Hagawa. We can go together. Are you sure? Yes. I think you should see it too. Sorry. And thank you. Naomi died around here. This is where she fought the Togetsu soldiers. She and the rest of the people transformed into others. They saved us when we had nowhere to run, at the cost of their own lives. It must have been hard for you. Just looking at this place brings back painful memories. Naomi told me something back then, though, that she was happy to have been alive and to perform one last act of humanity. Hmm. Naomi was in pain, but she found a reason to live. That's why I won't let this keep me down. I'll survive anything the world wants to throw at me. I see. Naomi lived her life to the fullest. Gemma, are you crying? Hmm? Oh, looks like I am. Sorry. You better not say you want to die, too. Don't worry, I won't. I already decided I wouldn't waste my life anymore. I'm sure Naomi wouldn't be happy if I did something like that. Good. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Why did you want to come here anyway? I wanted to confirm what I was feeling. To figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. I won't let anyone go through what Naomi did ever again. However, this nation's issues are too great. Suo and Seiron are no different. 
They use and discard the innocent for their own gain. You're right. I'm sure there are people like Naomi suffering somewhere in this country, even now. I was hesitating because of the size of the opposition. But learning about Naomi's last moments here has solidified the path I need to take. Now that the government's actions have been made public, the system is slowly changing. I want to help create a new system to make up for past mistakes. That's the least I can do for Naomi. I'm glad you have a goal. I'm sure she would be happy. It sounds like you'll still have plenty to do after retirement. Actually, I had another idea about my retirement. Although it might be a little conceited. If a retired OSF soldier can live a long life and do something to help society, then I want to become the model case of a psionic successfully aging. That's impressive. You must have drawn upon your vast experience to come up with an idea like that. No, I didn't come up with it on my own. It's something I thought after talking with you. Really? Remember when I had you taste my cooking the other day? That helped me gain a little confidence that I had more to offer than my ability to fight. Even if I lose my power, there are still so many new things for me to try. I was worried about what would happen after retirement, but now I'm almost looking forward to it. People really can change. He does look happier than when he first handed me Naomi's letter. Life goes on in this world, even without her. For both Gemma and me. I feel like I should start something new, too. Really? Do you want to try cooking with me? It's pretty interesting. I'll think about it. <laughs>